This is Evan Tech Support at Keith McMillan Instruments, and I'm going to show you how to set up your bot pad with Ableton Live. First, check your MIDI preferences and make sure you have track and remote turned on for the bot pad. Next, you'll want to drag a drum rack into your instrument track. I have the track record armed, so you can see the cells in the drum rack lighting up corresponding to the quadrants on the bot pad. Let's go ahead and drag a kick sample into the cell corresponding to quadrant 1. Now quadrant 1 will trigger that kick. Turn this to one shot so it will play through the entire sample regardless of how long you're holding down the note. Let's throw a snare on our second quadrant. So now we have two sounds being triggered from our bot pad. Let's now use the radius to control the cutoff frequency of an auto filter. Click on the frequency parameter, enter MIDI mapping mode, and then open the editor. I'm on using the universal preset, which sends CC1 on channel 1 from all quadrants. Go ahead and solo that, interact with the bot pad, unsolo, return to live, exit MIDI mapping mode, and now we have control over the frequency cutoff. The effect is a little extreme, so let's go back to MIDI mapping mode and raise the minimum value to 1000, 1 kilohertz. And that's how you quickly set up the bot pad with Ableton Live.